Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story Media, and we are interviewing Celine Williams this morning about her books. She's authored several books and documentaries on psychology, deep psych ecology, and shamanism. She was a direct student of James Hillman, and I think we will learn a lot from Selena this morning. So um, tell us, how did you get, what prompted you to get into this field? Oh, hi, Julia. Thank you. Thank you for the question. I started many years ago. I was uh, only 19 and I went to Sri Lanka where I met my teacher, um, Michael Williams, who despite his English name was uh, a Tamil, a shamanism and a yoga teacher. And uh, he initiated me to the wonderful path of uh, shamanic yoga. And uh, so I... <laughs> I started my my way in such a in such a way, and when I came back from Sri Lanka uh, to Europe, I decided to study psychology at the university because uh, um, uh, this happened uh, more than thirty years ago. And uh, thirty years ago in Europe, uh, talking about shamanism was a really weird, <laughs> strange. <laughs> Um, people uh, looked at me as I was an alien and so <laughs> so I um, I decided to study psychology at the university um, uh, to be more accepted and um, uh, to find um, a shape a form in which uh, uh, being uh, able to express Press my contents, um, uh, and uh, after the degree in psychology, I moved to Switzerland. And in Switzerland, I met uh, James Hillman. Um, James Hillman, who was the father of uh, archetypal psychology, um, one of the great thinker of uh, uh, of the imaginal method. And so um, this helped me to um, uh, to bridge the, to build a bridge between uh, Western and Eastern uh, uh, spiritual vision. Yes. <laughs> and um, that's interesting. So there wasn't some dramatic incident that caused you to be interested in shama shamanism. No, no, I was in Sri Lanka. I was 19 years old. Uh, yes, of course, I was probably a little bit depressed. Oh, yes, I lost my father. I, um, I lost my father, uh, and this is why I decided to go. I wanted to go away from my home. I wanted to go away from, from my world. And, um, and maybe... This, this was the incident <laughs> which uh, allowed me to to meet my teacher and to embrace to embrace a shamanic yoga um, very often our uh, uh, sufferings our pains uh, um, our worries uh, are uh, indeed uh, our greatest uh, wealth because they help us to to improve and to grow on the path of freedom and self-knowledge. Okay, and so what are you doing today? What kind of work are you doing now? So, I'm supposed to be a psychologist, but <laughs> I'm, I use uh, uh, more uh, shamanic yoga uh, rituals um, and um, uh, practices uh, in order to help my um, clients uh, um, uh, helping people through shamanic yoga rituals and exercises and practices uh, is really um, wonderful because um, shamanic yoga um, 
shamanism generally is a, is the path to ecstasy and um, so in order to practice uh, shamanism or shamanic yoga you have to enter a state of ecstasy which is a non-dual state of consciousness um, uh, is um, is the state in which uh, human and divine are distinct but not separated and uh, all the opposites are distinct but not separated, conscious and unconscious, uh, visible and invisible, life and death, uh, um, uh, bad and good, uh, um, true and false, right or wrong, all the opposites in, in the state of ecstasy, in the state of ecstasy are distinct but not separated. And so in this state, you can change your perspective. And because the world is in the eyes of the beholder, if you change your perspective, you change your world. And um, so I find that uh, through shamanic yoga, through shamanism, uh, through um, rituals uh, and spiritual practices, uh, I can help uh, other more than uh, through um, academic psychology, um, um, institutional psychology. I don't say, I don't want to say, of course, but uh, institutional psychology is not helpful. Of course it is. It is if you are sick, if you are in need, but if you are um, health, if you don't have any illnesses, any serious illnesses, and you want to grow, you want to improve, you have to shift from a therapeutic model, which is an anesthetic model, to an aesthetic, an aesthetic um, method, which is an aesthetic method as well. I don't know if it is makes sense sense to you. I I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very interesting. And you've written several books. Yes, I wrote several books uh, uh, in Italian. Uh, some of them uh, have been translated um, in uh, French, Russian, in other languages. But only one has been translated in English and is uh, um, the Mother Mantra, the um, ancient shamanic yoga of non-duality, which has been published uh, in US and in UK by uh, Inner Traditions, and um, uh, which is available on uh, Amazon. Um, Amazon. Okay. All right, great. Well, and do you want to tell us where, uh, give us your website address so in case people want to get a hold of you? Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, it's um, SCW, um, Selene Caloni Williams, uh, Selene Caloni Williams, as you say in uh, um, Selene Caloni Williams, SCW.com. Um, At CW.com scw.com okay i told my website is possible to find a lot of material um, uh, for example uh, videos about uh, um, uh, flowing sequences the flowing sequences of shamanic yoga are uh, yoga postures uh, done with a uh, um, particular uh, breath uh, um, a particular uh, breath control and um, uh, and uh, they are very very interesting uh, very different from uh, <coughs> uh, yoga um, uh, that is grown uh, in uh, in the western uh, uh, world um, and they are really <laughs> really useful to recover from a um, state of uh, sadness uh, or um, from anger or from other uh, 
kind of a bad uh, um, emotion, uh, um, frustration also, and um, yes, you, you can find a lot of material on, on my web website, even web free webinars and uh, free um, uh, articles in English. A uh, lot of material is in English on my website. Great. Okay, well, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks to you. Thank you for having me. Uh, okay. It was a really a pleasure, and I invite you. <laughs> if you want to come, I'll be, I'll be in the U.S. Um, in the next uh, month. I'll be in uh, San Jose, in California. Uh, at the um, SAND conference, the Science and Non-Duality conference. I will give a, a speech and um, uh, a workshop there. And then I will be in Seattle for uh, another seminar about uh, um, deep psychology and um, archetypal psychology at the beginning of November. Um, uh, all, all these uh, events are on my website, so you can uh, have a look. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you. Bye.